We just got another leak from Glitch, probably about episode 2, which shows that we could be getting closer and closer to its release, and this picture could actually help us figure out more things about episode 2. After Murder Drones episode 7 was released, we heard a bit less about the Amazing Digital Circus, because the hype was pretty big around Glitch's other show, Murder Drones. However, as we know, we'll see the second episode of the Amazing Digital Circus pretty soon, because Glitch probably won't wait too long after the early screening in Japan to upload the next episode to YouTube and so they have to start posting more and more teasers about the digital circus so that they can build up the hype again. But this is the photo that Glitch released on Twitter and yes again the characters are in motion just like the one which they showed for Kinger and honestly it seems like they're just throwing around the characters just like in this photo. And we can see that the circus members and Kane are outside in the grounds and it seems like Kane is spinning the ferris wheel just like you would spin a wheel of fortune. Except we can see that Palmni, Ragatha, and Kinger are on the ferris wheel and it seems like Palmni and Ragatha fell off of the chairs and are holding on to dear life not to spin out of the wheel. But Kinger looks fine, he's just sitting in the box and enjoying the ride, which makes sense for Kinger's character, he does the unexpected. And while Kane isn't even looking at the other circus members, he's just looking away and seems to be careless that Palmni and Ragatha are almost falling. But but maybe he'll catch them if they fall out. And this makes me think, could this be some kind of punishment? Or are they getting trained for the adventure? Or what's happening? And where are the others? Maybe Jax could be the one down at the control deck and he could be the one spinning the ferris wheel, seeing how fast he can make it go. And Kane could actually be touching it to slow it down. But we will see. And Glitch actually put the caption saying, hmm, something's missing. But I don't think they mean the other circus members. Maybe they're implying something that we aren't aware of yet. Maybe if we zoom out of this photo, we would see something else that we just don't know about. And as for where the others are, I'm not sure. I can't even see the moon or the sun, but that could be because of the weird angle of this photo, and maybe we will see an interaction between them. Maybe they'll fight over something, and then Kane would have to calm them down, as we know the sun and the moon are complete opposites. And we are seeing Kane, so maybe we can assume that this picture is from the scene before the characters would leave for their adventure. Or maybe it's possible that Kane will participate later in the adventure, because maybe for Pomni's first time, he wanted to observe how she reacts and how she acts and what kind of decisions she would make. But if this was the case, maybe he just had too much of a good time with Bubble while eating with the mannequins, and so he forgot to look out for Pomni. But thankfully, he had his wacky watch to send him a notification in case anything bad would happen. And that's how he managed to save Pomni from the void and now he knows that he can't trust Pomni alone anymore so he would have to give them company on their adventures and maybe even guide them if they need some help for example if you look at the fast food adventure when Jax was getting pushed out he was getting pushed out by a giant white hand and who has white hands and the power to do that Kane he has the power in the digital circus to push people around with his hands and so it would be interesting to see Kane be the guide for for the circus members and honestly i'm thinking maybe they'll be mad at him for not helping and he'll probably just talk to them while they're on their adventure if he does but it also is pretty cool that we're gonna get to see the carnival and i'm hoping to see the digital lake as well maybe the other circus members went to take a look at the lake or it is possible that this picture is already from the scene where they start their adventure and they have to start in the circus but on the grounds and so they form two groups one of them could be pomni king and ragatha and the other is jack's zubal and gangle and they have to complete some kind of task like with the ferris wheel maybe kane is forcing them to conquer their fear of heights or something along those lines and then one group will get the upper hand on another or something could happen and it's also possible that they're just having fun outside and spending time out there to occupy their minds with something as we do know ragatha does struggle with this from her rant in the dorm hall from episode one or maybe it isn't just palmley who hasn't explored the grounds yet because when Kane showed her, he just dragged her out there, quickly showed her around, but didn't really look at anything in detail. The only thing she probably remembered was the orange exit door that we saw. And so, what if it's possible that the others only got a tour in the same fashion that Palmley did, and they never actually got to go outside to see the carnival or ride the ferris wheel for themselves until Kane in episode 2 allows them to. However, my real guess is that the characters can do whatever they want, except for when they're given an adventure, and even 
even then they can choose to opt out, just like how Zubal said no in episode 1, but then she was later kidnapped and forced into the adventure, so maybe Kane does force them into the adventure, I don't know. But I am very excited to see the carnival, we barely saw it in episode 1, and so we get to see it more in depth, and I'm thinking, maybe there could be NPCs at the carnival who work there, or even there's a plot twist, and the haunted mansion could actually be inside of the carnival, and Martha Mildenhall and the small ghost that kind of looks like her dog are actually there to scare the circus members when they go inside the haunted house inside the carnival. And at this point, I think it could be possible because they have fully rendered shots of Martha Mildenhall and her dog in the haunted house, so why would they be rendering stuff from episode 3 and 4? It doesn't make too much sense, however it could be possible, or it could be possible that this actually is from episode 2 and it's a haunted house inside the carnival, but we just don't know yet for sure. But if we're considering that Gooseworks has posted so many pictures about the characters in the Candy Canyon Kingdom, then I'm assuming that's where episode 2 will take place and maybe that place only. And so for the opening scenes, we're probably going to see the characters in the circus where everyone gathers around Kane to listen to his instructions based for the second adventure. And then we could see the episode get divided into two storylines, just like how in the pilot episode we saw one part of the gang going down into the glowing coal and the others were in other parts of the circus. For example, Ragatha and Pomni in the dorm hall dealing with Kofmo or Pomni going around seeing different doors trying to find Kane and then she finds the exit door. And so for episode 2, we could also see two plot lines, maybe based on two different groups just like last time. But since Gooseworks has already shown this picture of Jax and Zubul in the circus, maybe some characters won't leave the circus? But I can quickly debunk that just because we've seen Jax in the Candy Canyon Kingdom screenshots. And I'm sure that Gooseworks and Glitch are going to keep posting more teasers for us about the episode. But there is still a huge question, who is the next episode even going to be about? Because there's 8 brand new NPCs that we're going to see throughout this season which were shown in the trailer for season 1, and Gooseworks said that episode 2 is going to be about someone we haven't met yet. However, it would seem a bit odd for an NPC to be the main character of episode 2, and so I think that it's either going to be Kofmo because we could see his backstory in a form of flashbacks, or we're going to get a whole new character and it's going to be a huge surprise where they join in just like Pomni did. And there was a picture that Gooseworks shared a few days ago about this drawing of hers which is a character that looks kind of like an anxious gummy bear and maybe he could be a new character but again it would be weird if Gooseworks would just share the concept art of this character and there wouldn't be a bigger announcement. Or maybe this is a weird way for them to announce it, who knows. And in my opinion I think it's actually more likely that we could see Kofmo's backstory. Because think about it, the hype around Kofmo was crazy and all we saw was a cardboard cutout of him in the actual episode. Or it could also be possible that we'll learn more about Queenie, just because there were so many questions that Gooseworks was asked about Queenie, and many of the fans believe that her and Kinger could have been husband and wife. However, this was never actually confirmed by Gooseworks. And she did say that there's not going to be any romance between characters in the show, but if it's a past romance, then could it be possible? Or maybe not. Or is it possible that Gooseworks was trolling about the Tumblr post about we're going to focus on a character we haven't met yet, and the truth is maybe we'll focus on a character that we actually do know, like Jax, Palmney, Zubal, or maybe even Kinger. Honestly, I'm hoping it's Kinger. But let me know what you think is going to happen in episode 2 down in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and click on this video here.